What's going on, cool cats? Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, the last time we were here, uh, NZD, USD, New Zealand dollar against the US dollar. We were looking at this here. All right. I was waiting for price to make a decision. Are you going up? Are you going down? What are you going to do? All right. Uh, see how it tested this level, uh, went higher, poked its head above the level, came back down, did this little nastiness here. <laughs> it's not a fake out, but it's just a, a rejection I didn't need. And, and then we get an impulse breaking this high, this high, and closing above this high. This is a show of strength, and it gives me uh, indication that price is finally moving up. Also, I want you to take note that we have a retest. Shit. This is the retest here. What a funny looking. <laughs> of all, why is it not a solid line? Anyway, so I have. I have what I need here, what I was looking for. Now I'm driving myself crazy. I'm driving myself crazy. There's no need to do what I'm doing right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking here and we have a retest. From here, I expect price to move on up. Finally got something right. Okay, so what does that, what does that mean? This was on my, that last Outlook video, I, I did all this. So we can get rid of that. We're not going down there anytime soon. And we can move this on over here. All right, we finally got the retest and we're finally gonna move up. That's not even important anymore. So we can get rid of that. Let's take a good look at NZD, how we ended up here. Let's go to the uh, weekly, we can see that this was a long time uh, downtrend, all right? A long time, and we finally broke up to the top here, broke, broke out the top and moved on to the upside. And we had see this impulse, so we were expecting price to come back at least uh, to the 382 Fibonacci retracement. And it came back more than that, it came to the 50, all right? And that that's, that's an awesome, that's awesome for us. And we're gonna to move to the, the daily. All right, on the daily, let's get into detail here. What do we have? All right, we had this uptrend, all right? And, and then uh, we got a high high, got a high low. All right, then we didn't, is this a higher low really? Is it? This is the last higher low. This isn't a higher low, why? Because it didn't create a higher high, all right? We did a lot of sideways, then we finally, get a qualifying uh, higher low to this higher high, which broke that high, all right? Now, we break down, all right? We get a, we get a low here and we get a lower high here, all right? That, that, it's a lower high and a low because it made a lower high. It, it failed to make a higher, a higher high, all right? So we break down to this, to, to, to this level. We have a lower, a lower low relative to that is it a lower low relative to the the last meaningful higher 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 low over here? No, no, it's not. No, it's not. We're not looking there. <laughs> what we want is what we want to see is consistent structure. This here, this area here, is minor compared to the major level here. All right, this is a minor level. These these are major structural highs. You're going to see that on higher time frames, but you're not going to see all the minutia in here. This is minutia, okay? Let me get back to the point. All right, we broke this low here. That is a break of structure, okay? That is a break of this structure, but it's still minor structure, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? All right. No, this this is actually major structure because you'll see this on a higher time frame and. We broke, we broke it, all right? And that means that the uptrend is over. If you draw a, a trend line, if you draw a trend line all the way up here, I wonder why I just draw it. If you draw a trend line up here, you'll see we have a break up. We have a break of the trend line. Anything on this side of it means we are heading, we have a new trend, 
It's a downtrend with lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. This is this was the uh, the the break of structure that uh, that we needed. Okay, that's what I needed anyway. Okay, now where are we going with price now? Now that it's here, when you break structure, you look for a retest. All right, same way it did up here. Created this low, uh, made the lower high, made a lower low, came back and tested that low. Tested it twice and then broke it. Now we're here, we break that low, all right? We're waiting for the, the retest. Now, there's a, use a, this is where I would use the Fibonacci retracement tool and that's not it. You didn't see, you didn't see that. Just ignore what just happened, okay? Moving right along. You put the Fibonacci retracement over here, all right? And you wanna see where the retracement would be. How you find that retracement is you, you say, where does the Fibonacci retracement align with structure? All right, that is gonna be, that gives you confluence. It gives you confluence of support of, of a resistance in this case, all right? And you can see we have structure, 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 structure here on the 50, the 50 fib level, all right? And that's that's a that's that's a pretty strong uh, attraction to uh, price. The price will probably go up go up here, and that's a, a very nice uh, retracement, a, a deep enough retracement to where you know uh, price will probably uh, drop from there. Okay, now I'm going to be prepared. I'm going to be prepared because at the golden ratio, the six one eight. There's also some structure here. We got these lows here. We got these lows here. All right. I want you to train your eye on this. Um, excuse me. I just did that. On this uh, uh, this level. All right. See how you see all the interactions of how it's been tested as support here. Support, 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 and resistance. All right, this is a, this is a pretty key level. All right, if price makes it up here, I'll be I'll be ready for it. But what you want to do, what you want to keep in mind is when you have Fibonacci retracements, when you use a Fibonacci retracement and you're expecting a, a deep uh, pullback, you want to make sure you're looking out for the 50 and the 618. All right, you, you, frequently you'll see uh, stops at the three uh, 382, but uh, this area here is the most frequented of the uh, pullback areas on the uh, Fibonacci retracement tool. So I'm looking for a retracement just like this, either here or here or somewhere in between. What I'm gonna be looking for is bearish formations and patterns, wick rejections. Uh, we wanna see a, a, a shooting star. We wanna see a bearish engulfer we want to see that big nice big uh, bearish candle that shows momentum and as soon as it closes you get on the next one smoking that's what i'll be doing i'll be on the next one smoking the next open uh, on the opening on the open of the next candle and uh i know that momentum is in my uh, to my back and i can uh, uh take it on down all right now I also wanted to bring you some, bring bring you to mind on another aspect. Um, my fine feathered friends, um, this here is a supply, a, a supply zone, and I mark it out like such. All right, I'm expecting price to come. There you go. When it, it if if it should come, you see how price uh, uh, dropped so aggressively out of the uh, once once it was up in here. It's because there are a lot of sitting orders here uh, for uh, sellers. So I'm expecting price to come up, reach if it does reach up this high. I'm expecting this kind of price action 
and then dropping. This is where you would see a, uh, a, a, a head and shoulder pattern. All right, but th that's what I would be expecting. And I'll, I'll be looking for it to happen right around here. All right. So this th that's what I'll be looking for. I didn't mean to draw that line like that. Something like this. All right. And uh, you'll see. You'll see. If, uh, if it doesn't straight away wick reject from the uh, what I call the opening of the uh, supply zone, then it'll, it'll come a little deeper and catch it here where that that the close of that, uh, I mean, the open of that bullish candle is and where it was uh, violated. That's a that's a, a usually a, the uh, area where you'll see price get rejected in a supply zone. OK, just some things to think about. All right. So now we wait. We have the NFP in a few hours. We want to see how that affects the USD. If it's if the, the numbers are good and favorable to the economy, that means people are going to put money in riskier assets like the markets, the uh, the US, uh, the, 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 the US 100, the Dow, the, the NASDAQ, the Russell, and, and all that, and not put money towards, uh, take money out of rather, the golds and the, the, the currency and, and bonds, the safe havens, okay? They're going to feel a little bit more confident in the economy, so they'll want to take more risk. That's that puts it at a risk on environment as opposed to a risk off environment. All right. So if we see that the good numbers expect a uh, price to go up there, touch off where, where I was talking about, look for the formation of bearish formations and patterns, and then we'll look for a drop. All right. This is a double bottom. We're going to see that upside. We're supposed to see that upside, all right? Let's see if uh, we get the follow through after NFP and then we can look for the drop. And I uh, hope we can make a bunch of money together.